everybody, and welcome to the Mega Gamecast. I'm Ryan Shepard. With me today, I've got Drew LaPointe. What's going on, guys? And Redbeard on the phone. How's it going? Not too bad. Today, we're going to go over all the games coming out in March 2016. Uh, we're going to start right at the top with March 1st, Alkaline's Gun, which is a stealth action game coming to Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. Uh, I think it has something to do with like the Cold War and maybe JFK. I don't know. You can check out some trailers for it. It looks kind of interesting. Very Hitman-y. Um, hitman Yeah, hit me, <laughs> Hitman-esque. Uh, also on March 1st, we have Broforce finally coming to PS4. This has been on PC for a long time. It's like a 2D. I think there's some sort of co-op going on there. Um, I think you just blow everything up. It's like got a pixel art um, graphic style. Uh, should be pretty fun. Um, it's been on PC for a while. Um, also on March 1st, we have Deponia Doomsday coming to Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. I don't know what that is. I don't think any of us do. No. Um, Far Cry Primal. Far Cry Primal coming out again. No, it's coming out to Windows, um, on March 1st. Ubisoft's been doing this lately. I don't know if they'll keep doing it. Kind of, kind of pissing me off. But um, they're they're doing their PC release after the console release. They did it with Assassin's Creed uh, Syndicate too. Um, Ubisoft, <coughs> U- Ubisoft. That's how they pronounce it. Ubisoft. You no, whatever. No, Ubisoft. 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 <laughs> Ubisoft and failing is what it be. Also coming out on March first, Heavy Rain is coming to PC. PS4. <laughs> PS4. All right. Um, I just want to save real quick. In my opinion, Heavy Rain, David Cage's best work. Okay. Beyond Two Souls, definitely a step down from what they did with Heavy Rain. Um, I don't know. I, just, like, I think it's good for people who never experienced it on PS3, kind of some of those other remakes, remasters that have come out. Mm-hmm. And um, it's one of those, you know, it, yeah, it's like a story-driven game, but it's very choice-driven. And I believe there's actually... a. Um, don't quote me, and I'm not positive. You might have to look it up, but there's at least like 20 different endings that you can oh, wow. experience with this game, depending on choices. And um, main characters can actually die. You have four main characters, and you can actually get them killed off. And the game keeps going. There's no game overs. It just, you know, the story just keeps going and adapts to your choices. It's probably one of huh. the best choice-heavy games I've played. That's so. pretty cool. I think um, games are missing that, you know, nowadays. I think that's actually really good about that game. Does it boil down to uh, red, blue, and white as your choices? No. No? No. <laughs> like, not like Mass Effect 3? No, it's not. It's not as... No, it, it's probably deeper than Mass Effect. I hope like, so. Like, no, it's it's deeper than a lot of those choice driven because it's, you know, the whole game is based on it. Yeah. But at the same time, there are obviously are certain aspects of the story that... It, that are gonna happen no matter what, kind of like until dawn. I guess until dawn's probably the closest comparison I can make to Heavy Rain. But okay, definitely. Uh, I don't know if you're good. into a mature um, mystery uh, murder stories. Definitely give that a. I don't know how much they're putting it out for, but check it out, guys, if you haven't. Yeah, before. and uh, they had recently released Beyond Two Souls on PlayStation Four as well, and I think they're doing some sort of package deal where you can get them both. Yeah, together. I think I heard that. I think I, I, I read something on that. So and maybe it'll come out the same day as Heavy Rain standalone. And David Cage is working on a new, or their studio, Quantic Dream, is working on that new game. Yeah, Detroit. Yeah, Detroit. What was Become it? Become Human or yeah, something yeah. like that. Or so, I'm kind human. of interested to see exactly what that turns out to be, too. Yeah, and so. his, me too. His... I'm from Detroit. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Are you human? I don't know yet. <laughs> no, not sure. You won't know until the game comes out. Um, yeah, that, yeah, exactly. So uh, also on the first, we have The Witch in the Hundred Night Revival Edition. Not sure exactly what that is. Sounds like a JRPG. Only on PS4. Oh. Um, yeah, it's an that action definitely looks like game. a JRPG. Okay, it came out for the PS3 in 2013. Oh, so it's a re-release. Cool, more of those. Um, <laughs> also on the first, we have Tron Run slash R coming to the Xbox One. Uh, I know last month that came out on pc i don't know if it also came out on playstation 4 at the same time uh that it's only coming out to xbox one on the first hmm. i don't know not sure about that i heard some pretty bad things about that game it's like a, a runner obviously with run in the title but 
it may not be that great. Um, also on the first, X-Blaze Code Embryo coming to Windows. Um, JRPG. Yep, anime characters on the front. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, it looks like it was on PlayStation 3 again. And Vita. Just Oh, my uh, God, a re-release. Big interesting. Surprise. Okay, yeah, it came this out in 2014. This month's turning out pretty good. Um, even Far Cry Primal is technically a re-release. On the second, we have Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasm Extend coming to Windows. What is Blaze Blue? Is that a fighting game? I believe so. Single player, multi- yep, fighting game. So get Yay. your f- get your fighter game on. Maybe the servers will be better in Street Fighter Fives. Um, maybe they'll get an arcade mode. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, also, uh, coming out on March third, we have Black Desert Online, which is a pretty popular MMO. It's been in. What's it been in early access for a little while now? Um, yeah. People talking about it in the Gamerholics group. Our own Hector Alvarez is pretty excited about it. I, I just helped him build his PC. He got wanted to get a PC just for this game. I hope he enjoys it. Really? Just for that game? Yeah, no. He's, awesome. he's doing other stuff with oh. it, but that's what he keeps saying. He's like, I got to play that Black Desert Online with Maxi. There you go. Um Hey, Red. Needs to hand out some codes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Red. Guess what's coming out on March 4th? <laughs> <laughs> Game of the year. Action Hank. <laughs> How's that turning out? Oh, let me grab a, a beer or some liquor there yeah, and then uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> get drunk with a bunch of friends and play some Action Hank. Absolutely. I, I think that's about as exciting as that game gets. Uh, yeah, so what do you do in that game? You basically run around sliding across a track on your rear end and try not to get carpet burn. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome. Uh, that's coming to PS4 and Xbox One on March 4th. We'll have that review by then, right? Yes, we will. All right. Oh, God. So check out thegamerholics.com for all your ha- action hink news. Um, also on the 4th, we have Into the Stars, which is... Space Simulator. A space simulator. Um are they going to steal the thunder of No Man's Sky? Or Mass Effect. Even yeah. Mass Effect's mentioned in this. Oh, and Lost Planet 3. Okay, so it was kickstarted. Wow, $111,000. Dang. That's pretty cool. All right, you can check that out on PC on the 4th. And also on the 4th, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. This is another re-release of a Legend of Zelda game on the Wii U. Um, and one that I'm getting. Uh, I really like the twi- uh, yeah, Twilight Princess. The um, Wind Waker re-release that they did, they did an awesome job with that. And uh, this will be coming my way with the Wolf Link Amiibo. That'll be the first Amiibo I ever have. Nice. Um, nice. Probably going to be like, now i got to get the whole collection. I got one. That's I don't true. even know what you do with those Amiibos. Um, well, you can look at them. Um, <laughs> no, there's definitely stuff you can do with them. There's a reason yeah, people no. get them. But. <laughs> so, so, some of the Nintendo games and you can look at them. They yeah. they I know unlock that. special abilities. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Like you can use. So this one, from what I understand, it like refreshes some of your supplies when you put it on the gamepad. Um, and I know like Super Smash Brothers. Was, had you can a, use them to to be a computerized fighter. Yeah, yeah, told. you could like train a fighter. Um, Mario Maker used a lot of them too to unlock costumes and stuff like that. So they're they're trying. They're oh. extremely popular. They sell like they sell out like instantly almost. It's crazy. Well, if nothing else, The Legend of Zelda gives you uh, an excuse to dust off that old Wii U. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm the gonna go old. back to Wind Waker a little bit too. Um, oh, there you go. Yeah. I didn't quite finish that on Wii U, but. It looked it looked great, and from what I've seen of the Twilight Princess HD, they did a good job with what they had. I mean, it. Yeah. If you go back and look at that game, even on the Wii, it's very, it's very muddy. Like the graphics are very, very blurry. Yeah. And, uh, well, Wii like wasn't even yeah, Wii wasn't even HD, so I'm sure it'll yeah. look nice and clean. And up. like it was de- originally developed on the GameCube. Yeah, so, yeah, that's um, true. They were they were only working with that too. Uh, so yeah, it looks really good. It's a lot sharper, a lot cleaner. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, also, um, coming out on March 8th, we have Shard Light coming to Windows. 
Um, that just links so, to um, uh, point and click adventure games. Well, it, it linked to the developer, so there isn't uh, even a page specifically for it. Okay. Oh, that's coming out on Windows. And on the 8th, Tom Clancy's The Division finally coming out. There's been a couple betas for that. Uh, Red, you're pretty excited for that, aren't you? Uh, absolutely. Uh, it seems like it's going to be a, an exciting game, other than parts of the Dark Zone, uh, in which I've noticed a lot of people don't like. But, yeah. Uh, it seems like it's going to be an exciting game. Um, I'll definitely be playing that uh, on the 8th when that comes out. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to pick it up, too. Uh, I, I enjoyed most of the betas. Like Red said, I had a, some issues with the Dark Zone. I, it wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, it really, really seems to be pretty focused on PvP, like 100%. Is, at least that's what I got out of it, um, specifically the Dark Zone. I would say the the dark zone is yeah mostly PVP based, yeah. but the game itself is just it's kind of a mix in between. But yeah, there's definitely a huge aspect of PVP in it. Yeah, um, yeah, like like outside of the dark zone, it's pretty much PVE. You're fighting AI guys and teaming up with people to build up your base and whatnot. Um, on March 10th, you have the guest coming to Windows. From 505 Games. Uh, I'm not really sure what that's going to be. Uh, well, we'll find out on March 10th. Um, on March 11th, we have the Hitman intro pack coming out. Shout out to Sai Cuddy. We know he's getting this day one. Yep, he already pre-ordered it. He got into the beta and everything. Um, that's coming out on Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. So that's like a prologue mission yeah. and a main mission and for the, the new Hitman game. Yeah. Supposedly, like, these playgrounds... Or whatever the level, the levels are, what they say, like three, four times the size of the biggest levels in Absolution. Oh, is they're that like, what they're saying? Yeah, there's like, supposedly you have so many options that you're not going to get bored. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, there were some big levels what's in Absolution. Hit, man? Yeah, there were. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, what's Hitman? I've never heard of that. Uh, no? Yeah, that's a new franchise <laughs> yeah. they're coming out with. <laughs> some guy has a barcode on his head. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Timothy <laughs> Olyphant. Sounds really weird. Um, we'll check that out. So that, that intro pack and that, um, first mission is going to be $15. I think the only way you can get that is digitally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because what I read it, that like once everything is released at the end of the year, we're getting a physical version. Yeah. So that's a game that so. was traditionally, you, you buy, you get the whole thing and now they've turned it into an episodic game. Cool. Um, on March 11th, we have WWE 2K16 coming out. Um, on anybody, Windows. On Windows. Um, yeah, Windows. Why isn't that coming out on all of everywhere? Well, because WWE 2K16 originally released in, I believe, October or November on oh, the consoles. Oh, okay. Um, yep. I believe this is the third installment that's actually been on the PC. They had always been console only before that. Okay. But then once they switched to like 2K license, it's been coming out on the PC, too specifically since the next gen consoles released uh yeah i don't know i guess the pc guys get it a little later they, yeah that seems I, to me the i uh, feel bad for all pattern. pc players but at the same i don't know like the, these wrestling again they've stagnated themselves along with a lot of the other sports games so i mean if you haven't already played it maybe pick it up if you're a pc wrestling fan yeah i mean but, it'll probably be the best looking version yeah if that's what you care about um that'll be the one to pick up on March 15th, we have EA Sports UFC 2 coming out on PS4 and Xbox One. No there, PC there. There are some... P yeah, see, uh, games like this, I think they start out on consoles, and then eventually the PC... Oh, then again, it's EA Sports. Yeah, that's those weird. Guys, those know. guys don't put Madden. And oh, they don't yeah, they don't come out. Well, I wonder if they will now that they, they're they putting a lot of money and stuff into Origin. Yeah, yeah, maybe. That's probably a big selling point for a lot of EA games is that, you know, all these sports games... I'm sure that maybe they're working on ports for all of those games. Like maybe Madden will be the one that comes to PC first, and then they'll go down the line. Yeah, we'll um, see. Also on the 15th, Need for Speed coming to Windows, even though that came out last year on yeah. consoles. It's been out about what three, four months. Yeah, I saw yeah. A they released a trailer specifically for the PC version. Again, real strange that these PC versions are coming out so late. Um, I don't know exactly what the reason behind that is. Wish I... That's another EA. 
Well, yeah. Yeah, that's, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's EA, yeah. That might be possibly because the console, the, the people behind the consoles might be paying the uh, Sony and Microsoft money to push it more towards the uh, consoles than the PCs. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's some of that, but uh, a lot, you know, you th- there isn't anything obvious. Like, they haven't come out and said, hey, this is why, like, Ubisoft has to come out and said, hey, this is why we release the PC versions later than console versions. Well, see, when it's like a week or two later, to me, that doesn't really No, it doesn't make, make sense. any sense. It so, just might yeah. as well come out at once. When it's like months later, I can because they want to get as much profit as possible. Yeah. You're not going to get exactly. as much profit with PC sales. See, with I mean, that's Syndicate, it kind of made sense to me. Like maybe they were worried about performance issues, like with Unity. So they were like, "Oh, we want to make sure these console versions get out there yeah. and they're okay, and then we'll release the PC version." But then they do it with Far Cry Primal, which comes out a week later. That's not even enough time to like really do anything, like yeah. put out a huge fire or anything like that. I don't know. Well, that's Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Ubisoft soft. Um, <laughs> on March 18th, Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games is coming out on the 3DS, guys. Yes. Are you excited about Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2006 Olympic Games? Imagine like thinking about this in like the early 90s, Mario and Sonic like just doing these cheesy yeah. little games together. <laughs> I don't know. Fanboys would have lost their minds back yeah, then. Yeah, it would have been crazy. Yep. Um uh, also on the 18th, Pokin Tournament. On the Wii U. For Wii, on the Wii U. U. A Wii U is getting a game, guys. Oh, it fighting is, it game. is Pokemon. All right, so it's a fighting game. All right, cool. Um, oh, man. Coming out on March 22nd. Was what was that? I, I can't believe it was Pokemon. I read it the first time I read it. I was like, yeah. Pokemon Tournament. Yeah, like you would just <laughs> automatically assume, like, but it's... Is Pokemon. it only it actually out in Japan? is a Pokemon. Yeah, maybe it's only I, I a don't Japan know. thing. I see. Um, release date arcade July 16th 2015 Wii U March 18th 2016 oh. um, what does that say MW or well worldwide okay WW yeah so that's coming out everywhere um, on the 22nd we have Republic which is like a stealth adventure game coming out on Windows Mac PS4 iOS and Android interesting hmm. coming out on all those platforms except for Xbox except for Xbox <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Those sons of bitches. Because it's irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yep. oh well, Sorry. it's coming out in Windows, so. Fanboyism. Yeah, yeah. I know. Get out of here. Um, <laughs> also on the 22nd, Stranger of Sword City coming out on. Ah, see, this one's only coming out on. Oh, it's coming out on Vita, too. What a weird yeah, thing. I was going to say. Xbox yeah. One and PS Vita. <laughs> Yeah, that's the weirdest. Yeah, where's the PS? Where's the PS4? That's kind of uh, surprising three, there. Dude, look, look at the cover they're using. It's a 360 they're cover. Yeah, well, it looks like here it came out in June 2014 oh. on 360. Okay. Windows, PlayStation. <laughs> okay. Such, such weird releases sometimes. Yeah. Trackmania Turbo is coming out on the 22nd. Yes. That's another Ubisoft joint. Um, Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. That's just like a wacky racing game. Uh, Alien Nation. Alien Nation. Do you have to slide on, on your PS4. butt? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe you can. I don't know. Maybe you can get a car that looks like a butt. Um, on the 23rd, we have Alien Nation coming to PS4. On March 24th, we have Dead or Alive Extreme 3. Not coming to the States. Nope. Um, just Japan. You, uh, that was that game that everyone was all upset about that. Oh, it's being censored. It's not coming to the United States. Blah, 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 blah. But you can buy it and import it you if you want. You can import it if you really want to see those virtual titties bounce yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. Coming to PS4 and PS Vita on the 24th. Killer Instinct Season 3 coming out on the 24th to Windows and Xbox One. Is that the first one that's been on Windows? No, I think they've I think, all, they've I think all they've been coming out there. Okay. I think that's always been a dual release. Yeah. Well, we'll see if this happens on the 24th. Slain <sighs> is coming out, is scheduled to come out on March 24th on Windows. Um, we talked about that earlier in the year. It's supposed to come out on like at the end of January. And it got pushed back to March, but it's not the first time that game's been pushed back. So um, we'll see. That's if a it, let's see. Yeah, it's it's like a Metroidvania. It looks a lot like the old Castlevania games and art style and everything like that. I'm look, I'm kind of excited for it. It looks pretty cool. On the 25th, um, Hyrule Warriors Legends is coming to the 3DS. So, I feel like we said that was coming out last month. Yeah, maybe it got pushed. <laughs> I don't know. I remember having this conversation about. Yeah, we were like, Hyrule oh, Warriors. 3DS gets yeah. its own version. Uh, it's funny how, I don't know. 
they probably they probably know they're gonna get more sales on the 3ds that's probably why probably yeah i wonder what that'll look like mm. um so on the 26th we have a slew of oculus rift enabled games uh that must be around when the oculus is actually going to release to customers we have it's drift... actually 28 there what did i say 26 oh okay <laughs> well, on the 28th uh we have adrift chronos uh, edge of nowhere and eve valkyrie all coming out on windows with oculus rift support um so if you are one of those that have picked up an op- uh pre-order an oculus rift that's kind of like your launch lineup, it looks like. We'll see how all of that pans out. I know Eve Valkyrie is yeah. already a game that's established itself. So. Eve Valkyrie looks pretty good, if yeah. nothing else. So. It's a good. looks like a good uh, what, like space fighting game, like yeah. star fighting game. On the 29th, we have MLB 16, The Show. PS3 oh, yeah. and PS4. Yeah. <laughs> I love how PS3 is still getting it. Yeah, they're still getting uh, it. Um, well, another shout out to Cy Cuddy, because I know he's going to be another day one buyer. Yep. <laughs> also on the 29th we have Knights of Azure coming to PS PlayStation 4 and it looks like another JRPG um, on the 31st we have Star Ocean Integrity and what is that? Faithlessness, Faithlessness. Okay, yeah. it's really small on the screen here yeah same here um, actually looks like something I might be interested in I've played all the other uh, Star Ocean games oh, okay. so. this is one thing I appreciate about what's playstation does is they'll just throw out these random jrpgs for that crowd even though it, it probably won't be like big hits or anything but you know variety well Spice they may life. not be but the thing is is it may not be big hits in the united states but that's it does true hit yeah big in japan like it wouldn't make like, sense for xbox yeah, to put something like that out they have, they have them every once in a while but yeah they just don't ever sell yeah because it's, yeah they're focused in the u.s um, yep. We have a couple of to be announced here. We have Battlefleet Gothic Armada coming to Windows. Might come out to Windows next month. Crossing Souls might come out on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, Mi Tomo yeah, it's how coming it's out on iOS and Android. Android um, is that? Oh, is that their? Okay, so that's their uh, weird like life sim game <laughs> that. That, that Nintendo's first attempt at a mobile oh game. God, um, they oh, announced that man. a while ago. Yeah, it should be pretty great, guys. It's Nintendo. They'll do it. <laughs> they always do. do. Um, so is that their own version of The Sims, pretty much? Is I that think like... so. It seems <laughs> similar to that. Oh, or, my uh, God, man. It's similar to some other game. It was like Tamagotchi Life or something like that oh, okay. that came out in Japan. Um, we also have <laughs> Stars Beyond Reach maybe coming to Windows in March. And Day of the Tentacle Remastered might be coming to Windows, Mac, Linux, PS4, and PS Vita. Um, Double Fine. No Xbox. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, no, they they didn't come out with uh, any of their like they did Grim Fandango a little while ago too, and that didn't come out on Xbox either. Um, Double Fine remaking their classic um, adventure games. Full Throttle, I hear they're also working on that too. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna wrap up. The month of March All looks right. like the division is standing tall as the, the number one for this. Yeah, I'd month. say that's probably definitely the most anticipated title of next month. Yeah. Or that yeah. yeah next month. Yeah. So uh, that's gonna wrap it up. Um, if anything changes, we can't go back and edit it. So oh well. So, well there's, <laughs> there's actually been quite a few that we've gone through this list and then. Like the next day after I posted it, some stupid company announces that their game is coming out in a week or something like that. And I'm like, oh, great. This is already out of date. Yeah, um, it happens. Well, thanks for seeing. As, well, huh? as of today. Yeah, as, as of is. today, this is the list. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thanks. Get ready for your Hitman starter pack. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can follow me. I'm Ryan Shepard underscore on Twitter. Drew. L.A. Drew 87. Yeah, and how can people get a hold of you, Red? Just on Facebook? Uh, you can find me on Facebook, but I'll, I'll look into that Twitter thing for you guys. All right. Yeah, get, just, get, just get at Redbeard. I'm sure it hasn't been taken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, right. Thanks, guys. All right. Peace. Later. Later.